this statement made by Paulo Caesar Soares is undeniably wrong as one of the most remarkable aspects of the paleoclimate record is the strong evidence of correspondence between temperature and concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere observed during the glacier cycles of the past several hundred thousand years. Fossil fuels such as gasoline, methane and propane contain mostly carbon. When these fuels are burned, they react with oxygen and produce carbon dioxide. Because of our heavy use of fossil fuels, the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has been increasing since the Industrial Revolution. Carbon dioxide doesn't absorb the energy from the sun, but it absorbs some of the heat energy released from the Earth. When a molecule of carbon dioxide absorbs heat energy, it goes into an excited, unstable state. It can become stable again by releasing the energy it absorbed. Some of the released energy will go back to the Earth and some will go out into the space. So in effect, carbon dioxide lets the energy in, but it doesn't let all of the heat energy out, similar to a greenhouse. When the carbon dioxide concentration goes up, temperature goes up. When the carbon dioxide concentration goes down, temperature goes down. A small part of the correspondence is due to the relationship between temperature and the solubility of carbon dioxide in the surface ocean but the majority of the correspondence is consistent with the feedback between carbon dioxide and climate. These changes are expected if the Earth is in radiative balance and are consistent with the role of greenhouse gases in climate change.